Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Guys on the team, the offensive lines hold the key as to who can come out of the winner in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Green's the kind of guy that you want to get involved early and often, Kirk, and get the crowd in and get it behind him right now. Absolutely. I mean, because of his big playability, you want to be able to have a chance playing at home, get the ball in his hands, let him make a big play or two. Just the potential of him making those big plays. This offense seems to feed off of that energy. And they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. at the 33. They go with a run and that'll be a gain of nine. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Excellent punt. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out quickly. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. And that'll be a first down on the three-yard pass. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, second down. They go to the ground game, and they hit him in the backfield. I love to see this, Brad. These cornerbacks have the toughest job in college football, and that's to cover some of the fastest players on the field to receive. And for a corner willing to come up, get off of his block, and make a play to disrupt the run, that's as good as it gets if you're a defensive coordinator. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. It's third down and seven to go. Ball in the 49. That close to being intercepted. I don't think anybody on this team's happy that their defensive lineman just dropped an interception. I think a few of those guys down there on the sideline are getting a chuckle out of the big fella dropping the ball. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's tackled at about the 41. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Green gets the call. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Well, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, 
you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. Gives it right side. They'll get him for a loss. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. So with the penalty, they've got third and a mile. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Ready! He's taken down at the 43-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Ducks really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Nice run there. Second and, Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 25. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding offense. Well, if you want to ruin a drive, just grab a hold of a defender's jersey. When you're in zone coverage, that means your linebackers have got to be ready to defend the pass coming into their area. That was a good reaction to tip the ball away. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 15-yard line. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. And again, they provided great pressure on the play, and the offense just wasn't able to get the first down. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's to the 40. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. He's hit and taken down. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. We've played one. Now this one's scoreless. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. tackled the 47 yard line never really had a shot they were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff he gets it away and this is a really nice punt and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Down he goes at the 28. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. McCoy is back awaiting the punt. He really got a hold of that one. Gets to about the 34-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. The 47. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Back with a carry. Big opening. Gets out to around the 32. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Steps up, and he can't get away from the pressure. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He throws it. Got it to the senior. Tackle made at the 13. From the 13-yard line, first down. Passes in and it's picked out of the sky. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. They line up at the seven. First down. Here's the give. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. That's a deep end. That brings in second and nine. Check three, check three. You can't block me. You can't block me. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. Nice 
run up the middle. That's good for him. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here comes the pressure. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they push him out at the 28-yard line. They go to the ground and he stops short. I'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. And he's tackled at the 40. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around in the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. From their own 45-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. He looked pretty confident that time on the throw. Yeah, good throw. In the coverage, it looked like, and you're right, he seems well composed, very sure of himself on that play. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 31. ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. First and 15 now after the penalty. A great tackle at the 26 yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. And he throws right away. Third down again. Completes. It's the junior tackle at the 10-yard line. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. Zips it to the back, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 9. That brings up second and 9. Tenth play of the drive. Let's 
Sends it out quick. Intercepted. Great job of reacting so quickly to the throw and hanging on for the pick. From their own 17-yard line, it's first down. They get nice yardage on that run. Two tights, two tights. Three down, three down. We played a half of football. No score here. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herb Street and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. After a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Check 26. Check 26. Here's a counter play. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. He's at midfield, fires it out. He's taken down at about the 49. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. There's a fumble, and who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And he hits him hard at the 42. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Check 
He's got the corner. He makes his way out to about the 12. Back in the red zone again, where their three previous trips resulted in zero points each time. Green gets the call. He fights forward to about the 10. A two-yard run by the halfback. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 10. Throws incomplete, and there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Fires out to his wideout. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. The Eagles on top, 21-10. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Oregon to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Ducks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Here's a run. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 24. Throws it. Throws complete. He's got room to work. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary, but the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short three-play, 80-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. He sends this one deep. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Play action. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Gets it on the pitch. 
And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. They tried to trick him, and that time it backfired. Well, that's a tough play for the offense. They're going to have to put that one behind them and come out strong on their next drive. From their own 24-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gets out to around the 38. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Got a man, watch out here. And they make the stop at the 49 yard line. Second and eight, ball on the 48-yard line. Again, he'll get the call. Nice gain as he works the right side. with room to work. Breaks one. He scores. What a play. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. Tacks on the extra point. A nice six-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On play action. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14-7, Oregon. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Quickly, and he's got his man, and down he goes at about the 37 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 37 yard line. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's taken down at the 39 yard line. This is 
So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Oregon is up by a touchdown. Tackle at the 46-yard line. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. again and they'll get him in the backfield that's a loss of two yards on the play that'll bring up second and 12. second down and 12. ball on the 18. hand off to the left they go to the left for a nice game. Green gains around six yards on the run. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Oregon is up a score. He gets it up, and it's good. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's check in over in Buffalo. And for Buffalo, they've dropped two straight. The Eagles roll by 19. Ten-point game here, Reese, 17-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's tackled at the 49. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing check, serious. And he can't get away from the pressure. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So the sack makes this a second and long. Just under three to go in regulation. Uh, 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 
pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's taken down around the 50-yard line. Washington's got some new faces on the roster that they're expecting some big things from, partner. And, you know, that's what's great about college football. New faces every year, unexpected stars, and the newcomers that kind of splash onto the scene. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. He's wrapped up for the sack. out of the sky. That's a great tackle at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. He's at the 40. And they push him out at about the 23-yard line. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Down, right around the 22-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Washington just took their first time out. Just over a minute left. Handoff to the right. Tries to get around the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at the two-yard line. and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Tackled for a loss. I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, you're calling the plays. Listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. A two-yard run by the halfback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Personal foul. Face Defense. Defense. Oh, man, they've got to be frustrated. I'm sure they're ready to get off the field, and now they've just handed the offense a whole new set of downs. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. bring him down you have to keep an eye on this guy especially during passing situations because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback as we saw right there and this is the ninth play of the current drive we have less than a minute to go and he's tackled around the six-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Ducks get the win. 17-7. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Washington had a few missed opportunities in this game, and I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game.
So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.